Hey there, it's Java Seal, and today we're going to be doing a draw along about how to draw faces. And we're going to be splitting up this video into two parts. First, we're going to be learning how to draw face of a man and a woman, and then we're going to take the skills that we use and apply them to drawing a face based on a description in a book of a famous book character you might know, or you should know. Alright, so first we're going to be starting out by drawing an oval, and you do this a couple times. This is the basic way to start out any face. Then next we have to draw guidelines for the face. And you might see artists do this, they draw lines on the face and you're like, oh my gosh, they know exactly what they're doing. They're such they're so professional. But they they just do that so that way they know where to draw the eyes, the nose, and whatnot. So we're gonna do that too. The line I usually start with is right down the middle here. And the reason why I do it is that way I know on each side of this line it's going to be basically symmetrical. Next, draw a line for the eyes, then in between the chin and the eyes you draw another line for the nose, and then in between the nose line and the chin line you draw a line for the mouth. Okay, so what I usually start with when I'm drawing my face is the nose and I love drawing noses, they're my favorite. So you can start with a C on its back and then we draw the nostrils. When I was little I didn't like drawing nostrils because it's like ew that's where boogers come from. Well get over it because we all have nostrils and they look beautiful so draw them in. Now that we have a nose we can go ahead and draw what I think is one of the most important parts of the face, which is the lines that curve from the nose to the eyebrows. So we're going to do that. Now for the girls it's going to be more curved, but then for the guys you'll see later on that it's going to be more structured and square-like. Next we're going to draw the eyes. And as we're drawing the eyes, remember that we're going to be leaving space in the middle and then on the sides too. Because we're not going to be drawing big anime eyes today. Just, just regular. And they're almond shaped, even though I know that our eyeballs are actually spherical. So for the gal, we make the top line of the eye very dark. And this is like all the eyelashes. The dark part represents all the eyelashes. Now, if you were wearing mascara, then of course you can draw on some of your eyelashes, but for this we're just going to make a dark line at the top of the eye. Then, at the bottom of the eye, keep it kind of light here. Next, we need the iris. Now the iris will be cut off by the lids of the eye, and that's okay. That's normal looking. And then, we will draw the pupils. And then you might see this when people draw pupils is they leave a white part in the middle and that adds life to your drawing and shows that light is reflecting off of your eyes. And that also helps direct where your character or where your face is looking. So this face is looking up and I'm going to be drawing the iris around the pupil so you can distinguish between the white part of the eye and where the iris is. Next I'm going to draw the eyebrows and we're going to leave them kind of light and bland because we're not going to be doing ex expressions today. That would be really fun doing an expression video but right now it's going to be kind of a meh face and this person looks like they wax their eyebrows because they're pretty thin. Next, we're going to add in the lips. Now the lips are kind of hard. What I do to draw the lips is I pretend that I draw a seagull. Like this. So go like a seagull in the distance where you just draw a line for the bird. Kind of just practice on the side because that's a little bit hard. See? Ah, seagulls. Anyway, <laughs> so then the bottom of the lips will be a similar C curve to the nose. But a little bit more shallow and then add in these smile lines. 
And now that we have the main features of the face, we can make sure to add the cheeks and how the temples dip in to where the eyes are and then come back out and round it to the cheeks. So for gal's cheeks, they are more they're smoother than the guys and they come to a point at the end. So we're going to dip in. Alright, for the ears, they start kind of near this dip and at the edge of the eyes. So at the top of the eye is the top, or at the middle of the eye is the top of the ear. I draw that in and sometimes depending on how big your ear is, it can go down to the nose line. And we have folds in our ears so we can draw them in. Then for the neck, I draw a line down from the eyes. Looks like the crying, but that's just how I can determine where the neck goes. So it swoops in at that point. Alright, so that's a gap. Um, I'm going to add in hair too, just for fun, even though this that's not what this tutorial is really about. But a tip on hair is it's not really professional looking to draw in all of all each strand of hair. What is better to do is represent chunks of hair by lines. So you have an idea when looking at the hair where it falls. All right. So that's a face of a woman and then we're going on to a man face. <laughs> it is now time to draw a man. So we start off the same way as we did the gal draw an oval. Just get comfortable with the shape, all right. Then we split it up the same way. Down the middle for symmetry. Yeah. Okay. Across for the eye, in between the eye and the chin for the nose, between the nose and the chin for the mouth. All right, start off drawing the guy the same way as the girl. Add in a nose, maybe make this one a little bit more defined and then make the line of the nose to the eyebrow a little bit more square then for the eyes remember to leave space in between and on the sides Make these also a little bit square, but don't be afraid of drawing the top of the eye thick because guys actually have thicker eyelashes than girls, I think. Kind of jealous of that, but hey, that's, that's an observation that I've made. Then the bottom of the eye is going to be light. They have the iris. And the pupil. Also remember to leave the white part here. Add light in your eyes. Color in the iris. Next, um, oh yeah, I gotta add the eyebrows. So those are gonna be thick and kind of square too. A little bit thicker than the ladies. Next is the mouth. And a lot of people are hesitant when drawing the mouth because they forget that, hey, guys have lips too. And for the guy's lips, it's going to be like more of a stretched out seagull, like this. So we'll practice that on the side a little bit and go ahead and take it down. And see, that wasn't so bad. Add in the smile lines and the bottom of the lip right there. So this is the beginning of men. Then we add in the cheeks and the chin. So it's going to dip in to the temple. But then the che cheeks are going to be a little bit more square. 
I know everyone's cheeks are a little bit different, so drawing along, try to match your cheeks, or just remember that they're different. And it's going to be kind of pointed like this. Then the chin kind of comes off flat right here, doesn't come to a point like the gals, and we can add in, sometimes guys have that fun little chin thing right there, which is like a seagull flying the other way. Lots of seagulls and faces. Then we add in the ears. This is going to come in right from the middle of the eye, top of the ear. Then ear on the other side. We have the folds in our ears. And the neck I draw between the edge of the eye here and the edge of the face. Guys, necks are a little bit thicker and gals. Then we can add in some hair. Woo, because that's a thing. Bangs. Bangs, bangs, bangs. Bangs, bangs, bangs. Looking good. So this is our man. We have conquered man and woman. Now we can move on to drawing characters from descriptions. Woo! See you in the next video!